Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we are committing to the strategy of switching over to Aku, Aku link chests, instead of spaceships for the bulk of our off world transportation. Um, I've already sent the Aku Sphere collector ship to. Bring us a whole bunch more. Since we're going to need 20 Arku Spheres for each outpost to have a pair of chests linking them up. Good morning, Lord Seru. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Good time zone to you. Um, let me just put in not some nonsensical number here so we won't have a ship landing. Uh, so what I want to do... Wait, where the heck am I going? Uh, what I want to do here is... Start with the middle block out of these three, which for some reason is the ship's least favorite spot to land. We already, uh... Front nine to the other two. Uh, and we're going to remove all this, except the output train stops are going to stay in the same spot. Uh, I guess I'll pump the antimatter over here. Just to keep it simple. Actually, how about, how about this? And that should be fine. Actually, does that reach? It does not. Alright, we are here. And there's a random piece of rail that's been sitting there for god knows how long. Alright, um, just going to remove this piece of pipe. And I should have done this already. We're going to kill the requests over here. Uh, the stone can stay. Not too worried about that. And did I even really need to bring the decon train over this way? Really, I was just looking for a ride. I guess we can pick up all of this crap. Um, so we're not going to need any of this. Why is my... Why are my bags this full? Because I picked up a bunch of floor earlier. That's a lot of pulverizers as well. Uh, okay... I guess start dropping things in here. Uh, and we also want to take our biggest Holmium Corfrag outpost, which already has two ships on the way. Uh, we're just gonna stop requesting any more ships to come. And once we've got our Arcosphere, Arco Link chests, we'll head on over there to place them and swap this stuff out. Um, Alright. Not going to need to remember any of these numbers anymore. This is going to be a very, very simplified system. Compared to what we had. Uh, you can go in here. Let's pick this up. Grab all of this. Uh, and I should probably check on the Arco, Arco chest. I think I sent it not long before I saved the game. So it's probably... Oh, it's almost... It's a little bit more than halfway. It's headed for Black Mirror. To get some more Arku... Arku spheres. I still haven't raided the... Uh... There's like a couple of special locations that give a few Arku spheres for free. 
I can't remember if Foe and Estra is one of them in that wrecked spaceship or not. In any case, I don't want to fill this out. Actually, I might... It might be easier to land the... Uh... Uh, are we going to take the construction ship for this? It's kind of big. Well, it can still land in a block. Yeah, I might... So I already tested off stream to confirm that this works. Uh, what we're going to do is fly over to the outpost, uh, place an Arco link chest, place one in the spaceship while we're on this surface, and then fly back to Hagen, uh, and the Arco link chest will stay linked to this one as long as we don't pick it up again. Um, you could land a ship here and then just like deconstruct the ship around the Arco link chest. But we've got picker dollies, so that won't be necessary. We can literally just just uh, scoot it out of the way off the ship. So that's how we're going to get the Arco link chest here. Not going to need any of this anymore. Um, I think we are going to be putting rail like so. No need to worry about that at the moment, though. I feel like if you land the ship and then just deconstruct around the wall, leaving some remnants, it would look cooler. I, I don't want to... I don't want to make a new ship for every one of these that we have to transport, though. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if we just take the construction ship or something. Okay. Uh, is this empty? Yes, it is. There we go. And what about over here? Not really. 2k per second. How much room is there over here? Probably enough. Okay. Um, and we're going to want to... I guess it's easier if I just send the black reinforced plating back home. Nah. Let me just double check our little blueprint over here. Okay, so we've got some space here we can use. Um, one, two, three, four. Or five. We'll put the spellivator cables, ammo, leftover core frags. Uh, space train power packs. And plating in here, I suppose. Oops. No, stop. There we go. Oh, don't put it in there. Now the train's going to come and take it. Okay. Uh, what else is here? Ammo. We don't strictly need to put these in separate chests. It just makes it clearer. I guess it's fine if some core franks go over there, actually. Although, I 
think they're supposed to stay symmetrical. Alright, any more in the train? Yes. Yes, yes. Far too many. Ammo doesn't seem to want to do a shift C. Okay. Uh, come to think of it, the pulverizers also have really small stack size. So let's keep those handy. Didn't we have a ton of these? Oh, we do. In Right in my pocket. All right, and we're gonna want to leave. Oh, it's empty. We're gonna want to leave plenty of room for our construction ship to not delete our lovely black plated floor. Hello, hello, Dilka, Shatcat, morning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, let me just double check. Uh, spaceships. Do we have the construction ship template in here somewhere? Surprisingly, no. Considering I've been using that pattern for a while, it's a little bit surprising. Uh, but the copy pasta will show us. Should be able to fit here quite cozily. Fantastic. And I want all the black plating to stay here so we can just replace it more easily. Okay. Um, we need to make some arcospheres. Should I just leave this train here for now? It's not really blocking anything. Yeah. Let's just fly back. Oh, I also have a ton of belts. Alright, that'll probably do for now. Whoop, don't run into a spaceship. That could be bad in a few ways. That's weird. Why is the left side... What? Um... Why is it only this quarter of a block that's saturated on the crushed vulcanite output as opposed to the enriched vulcanite output? Huh? What? Is that like jammed forever? Oh, the sand output is busted. Oh, that's probably why. Was that was that all it took? No, it, well, it's still... I wonder if the crushed got saturated because the sand output was blocked. And, and now that needs help. I'm, I'm actually quite curious to see if that gets started by itself, if we take some more enriched vulcanite away. Time for teleportation, no jutsu. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Upstairs we go. Whoop. 
Maybe I should move this so that the teleporters are in the exact same spot. Uh, after we go through the elevator. Uh, I need to steal 20 Arcosphere Lambdas to make a... Try not to cough to death. Uh, to, to make a pair of Arcolink storages. I'm pretty sure we've got everything else we need. Uh, I think it probably requires big, fat space manufacturing. Just cram it in over here. Yep. Okay, so that'll be ready to go as soon as we feed it Arcospheres. And we need Lambdas. There are no Lambdas. Well, there's a few floating around. I could just steal it from here, but why don't we just get the bots to bring us what we need. So this is the only thing that actually consumes Arcospheres, uh, I'm pretty sure. As opposed to changing their state. 10 Arcosphere Lambdas makes one Arcolink storage. We've found... How many hundreds? We've, uh, excluding the few that we lost because of that very upsetting meteorite. Uh, or is it asteroid? I guess it's an asteroid. Uh, we've found like 650. We've actually brought back 628. Or 629, I think it was. We've got like 23 outposts. Uh, so that would be like two thirds of all the Arcospheres that we've ever found. That's why we're sending the ship to find some more. I imagine we'll still have a good few outings before we get less than 20 Arcospheres uh, from a trip. I hope. But also, we need to do better, I think, than this setup, which has way, way, way too many Arcospheres uh, sitting useful, uselessly in inputs or outputs all the time. So that'll, that'll need a redesign at some point, regardless. Alright, here we go. That is super slow. That's still kind of slow. That's uh, only... Uh, okay, that's still a little bit slow. 600 second crafting time base. But it just took a few seconds here. Uh, I really don't need to be carrying this stuff. Get it out of my base. Fantastic. I don't need to be carrying this many tier 6 modules either. Or any tier 3s for that matter. Or computers. Oops. I did not mean to ditch. The mini 2s. Okay, I want to make sure I'm carrying at least one of those anyway. Why is there only one though? Didn't I literally just throw a few of them away? Maybe they're in the train. Whatever. Uh, give me those, those tier 9s as well. We're actually up to almost three stacks of 
efficiency 9 modules to spare. Obviously struggling on the speeds and productivities as one might expect. Might have to actually put a limiter on the efficiencies at some point. Since we're pouring tons of resources into all of the module types. And we only really care about speed and prod at the moment. Anyway, uh, we have our two Arco Link storages. So now we need to fly over to uh, Plato, I believe it's called. Yep, Plato. Uh, Plato orbit in the Calmea system. 9.26k radius. And 18 times 6.1354. 110.4 Holmanite core francs for the moment. Cool, cool, cool. Let's head on over there. It should be closer than if we went via Foenestra. Five minutes at max speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just quicker this way. Away we go. Um, has Plato already emptied out? Like, no more ships are coming? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to want to retool all this stuff and just do one robot network and we're barely going to need any Logibot throughput. Okay. We're going to be able to get rid of all of this as well. No more complicated circuit system. It's, it's a little sad. It took a lot of work to refine it to be this good. And in the end, we're just belt spamming through magic chests. But the UPS demands sacrifices. Okay. Um, come to think of it, Well, I was going to say, I guess we could build, where did I put it? Good question. Uh, I think it, I actually just tossed it down here somewhere. No. I can't remember. I, th I thought I blueprinted this thing, but maybe not. It's in the editor in any case. Oh yeah, it's in Arcospheres. Arcolink input. Apparently I did not. I guess we'll just make the blueprint when we're ready. So what are we going to do for four in-game minutes while we fly over? Let's check on science. Science is missing Deep Space Science Pack 3, story of my life. Uh, we're actually picking it up right this instant. 10,000 Deep Space Science Pack 3s. And considering we need maybe 10,000? If it weren't for productivity bonuses to finish this research, uh, it looks like that's going to be enough. Cool, cool, cool. Takes a surprisingly long time to load, even with the bulk rail loaders. I can't wait for next run, uh, next non-vanilla run, uh, where we're going to just use loaders going straight to the cargo wagons. Super, super fast. Maybe we'd even... Nah. Well, I don't know, actually. 
I was thinking briefly of using the cargo wagons, the trains themselves as storage, but no, I don't like that idea. The storage density of cargo wagon, uh, cargo wagons is shockingly small. With vanilla wagons, it's actually a single chest is larger than the entire, has more stacks of storage than the entire cargo wagon. Okay, what else demands our attention while we wait? More prod modules are going to be on the way. I think the bottleneck shifted away from lattice pressure vessels a while ago, actually. Probably when we made the, uh, or as a consequence of making the second, the second block processing uh, area frame bulkheads, etc. I guess we can actually name, what, uh, what was it called? Plato. Uh, each of these are going to be linked to a specific outpost, so we may as well name these. That's what we could use the uh, gold plating here for. In about the same spot where, where it was previously. We'll figure out exactly where we want to fit it once we're actually placing the build. It's going to be a lot of work putting all of these over, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing the transformation, especially seeing our UPS and uh, our UPS and our throughput of the the material at the very base of the pyramid uh, skyrocketing at the same time. What is this flashing? Oh, right. Hmm, could you go pick this up? Actually. I might consider keeping the spaceships for, like, in-system. Just because it, it's such a short trip. Uh, it... it and the arcospheres are kind of pseudo-finite. It gets very, very hard to get more of them after a point. Um, so we might not want to waste 20 arcospheres setting up a pair of chests to go straight from Achilles to Hagen, for example. Or Verb T, or Muir, or Gibil, blah, blah, blah. But I think the ones that are in Kalmea and Asimius are definitely far away enough to bother with. And everything else is uh, a Foenestra jump away, so that goes without saying. ETA, 1 minute 23. How's our blank data cards doing? Still not caught up. Yeah, that's not a hundred stacks. Um, I really hope we don't have to build another another build like this. Let's check if there've been any material bottlenecks for the input for blank data cards lately. Production. Oh, I thought production would have been would would be a steady flat line over the last hour or three, but actually, it's all over the place. Um, what are we running out of? And how is it, how are the red cards this, uh, the advanced circuits this imbalanced? Copper plate is perfectly balanced, but we've got 2.2k and zero. 
Also, the rough data storage substrates. There's like zero on this side now, and there's like 9.1k on this side. Why? The whole build is made symmetrically. That's kind of upsetting. Uh, how many solids do we need here? Three. Two train loads, two train loads, two train loads. Hmm. I really don't want to have to redesign this. How much? Hmm. Let me guess. If this is tier 9, we need more than one belt of deep space transport. Uh, of uh, rough data storage substrates. No, maybe not. At the moment, we only need 33.6. So I guess we could push the rough data storage subs through one container and go all the way around, perhaps. Maybe. I'm not entirely clear on why it's stopping and starting at all, whether it's a material shortage or if it's because of how imbalanced these get. Null Cascade, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doesn't that beacon... Does that beacon really hit the right side? Yes. Dilka, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Wait, I already said that. Chat scrolled to just the right spot and I think the color changed. Um, but yeah, I can't really merge and split with the space that we've got here. All right, we, we should probably be at our destination. Plato Orbit, let's go. I'm going to set this thing on construction mode. Because I don't actually want it merging these uh, logistic networks just yet. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is step out into space. Uh, why? Really? Really, really? Why do you keep looping? You're supposed to be stack size 1, but this keeps going to 49 to 51 to 49 to 51. You're both set to stack size 1. That should be... that shouldn't be possible. What? Are they perfectly in sync? Doesn't look like it. What? I'm so confused. Regardless, you can stop now. Uh, we're actually only going only gonna to need the one robot network. Not sure exactly where I want to put the robo port. I, I guess we'll fill this out with uh, space platform plating. There's no no need for a ship to land here anymore. Do we not have construction bots here? What? Oh, I see. It has to be in normal mode for them to recognize that they can pick this stuff up. And I guess it's just going to steal some elevator cables and stuff. I suppose that's fine. Now then. We will need to move all this. We'll probably just get rid of it, actually. But 
Yeah, because this whole contraption is just to control... Requesting stuff from the ship only when the ship is here, and then putting it in the two passive providers. Yeah, I don't think we need to stress about it. Um, I think we can just get rid of all this. Alright, so we're going to put our Arcolink storage down right about here. Uh, I actually did blueprint it already. Where was it? Oh, I put it in Arcospheres. Nothing fancy, just, uh, just a nice little layout for this. Gonna have to get rid of these belts. So what we've got here is simply each, uh, bulk rail unloader goes straight into the Arcosphere. We don't let the belts push any more in if there's like 20 core frags. Whoops. Um, get it out of my pockets, please. Doing an end game, uh, end game cleanup, exactly. Zern, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Why don't we put one of our little mini robo ports right about here, just for the look of it. Um, I'm pretty sure we only need the one robo port period, but I guess we could always just make sure it's got the range. I can't even tell if it's got the range. To repair this stuff, it doesn't. Lol. Maybe I should just put a large rover port in the center. Because why not? Kind of fills the space where the ship used to be. Um, so we're going to want exactly 50. Thank you. Logibots in the system. Where are they going? Oh, I see. Not gonna need this anymore. Um, what's the easiest way to get rid of this? Quest, core frag, pulmonite, lots. And we don't need any of this whatsoever. Not anymore. I might leave the number 19. I doubt if it'll come in handy somehow to refer to each of the outposts. But if anything, we'll just leave it here as like a, a bit of nostalgia. Maybe I'll move it up here though. What's the... is Bombato? Stromhurst, something with a long name. Could we still fit this over here? Uh, only kind of. Might end up putting it like here or here. Or we could just leave it where it was. Kind of a souvenir from the, from the spaceship days. Alright. Uh, we want... Exactly 50 Logibots. And what we have here with the circuitry, uh, these four pieces of belt are simply reading 
from the Argo Link storage and saying core frag less than X. Um, then we've got a requester. There's no circuitry attached to this. A requester for destroyed space train power packs. That just goes straight in the Arco Link storage. Uh, and then the only complicated part here on this end is we've got set filters whitelist for the space elevator cables, space train power packs, and media defense installation ammo. Uh, we're going to want just 12 of each of those, one, one insert a swing, that's fine. Um, and because we've only got four filter slots, uh, we're going to use set filters whitelist. This is the list of stuff we want, positive numbers, constant combinator goes straight to there, uh, and this is just each times negative one output each attached to the passive provider chest. That's the kind of thing I'd really like to see possible to do without a combinator. Like, just output this as negative. That would be very useful. Uh, but yeah, that's all we need to do on this end. Um, so this will have a little bit of, like, all this stuff in the passive providers. Uh, we might want to calm down a little bit with our requests over here. Since we're going to be attached to the main base all the time, we don't really need to worry too much about having a gigantic reservoir of space elevator cables, etc. Um, same goes for the media defense ammo. I don't think we really need a big container for those at all. I mean, technically, we really don't need a big this big container of space elevator cables to stay here either. But for stuff like that, I'd rather not be too lean. Uh, we really don't go through space elevator cable space elevator cables. We don't go through media defense ammo super quickly, so I don't really mind that the way it is. Um, what else? Yeah, I think we'll just leave these as they are, except for the request sizes. This I'm going to just remove, though. And... I can't even control-click it into the trash slots. That's kind of annoying. Let's just toss it in here. I miss the old jetpack where instead of this graphic, we just had running in space man like this all the time. It looked a little silly, perhaps, but it had a feel to it. Now then. That's actually all full already. Um... I guess we'll leave these storage chests here for the moment. I kind of do want to have a generic storage and leave some construction bots behind. Just so we can make a couple of little changes remotely if we uh, realize the necessity of it. And if only to pack all of these up. I guess we could always just use this as a regular storage chest, but... I don't love that idea. But 
I guess we don't need to leave this behind. We're going to have one, aren't we? Whatever. I'll leave the wiring as it used to be as well. In particular, I want to be able to mouse over this and see how many core frags are currently on the entire planet. Uh, which means I want this to stay linked to here. Even if that looks a bit awkward. Actually, I don't like that very much. How about we just exclude what's in the trains and what's here? So 192k waiting on the planet. Alright. 50 bots... Oh, no. Yeah, 50 bots of each type in here. Uh, we should probably leave some repair packs. Just in case even though they should never be necessary. I suppose I could always add repair packs to... to this. Should be no need for them, though. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I, I am reasonably confident that we haven't missed anything. I mean, we are greatly simplifying the setup, so I guess it's not that surprising. Okay, let's head back to Hagen. But first, before we forget, very, very important, we place an Arco Link chest while we are on this surface. And there it is. Magic chest. Alright. Back to Hagen. You're on Arco Links now? Yes, indeed. Maholic, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, we tried to make everything work with just ships, but it's, it's a little difficult. Maybe if instead of doing a generic dispatch system... I made a pretty good one, even if I say so, but it definitely wasn't perfect. Um, maybe if we just, like, tuned it to have ships on specific schedules and just kept adding ships to a certain line until we had enough, uh, maybe that would have worked out better. But we'd still be paying the UPS costs of the ship's many, many ships uh, flying through flying through space all the time. Have you tried deploying them at Foenestra over and over? No? Why? Does it summon a monster? What happens if I do that? So what we're going to do is land here. Drop the Arco link off. Uh, take off with our ship. It's just to sync IDs. I don't understand. At first I thought, looking at the chests, because of this weird... Oh, it doesn't have it. In the editor space, if we look at the uh, Arco link storages, um, they have this weird, like, circular looking oh here it is wait that's not my personal inventory no it's not uh yeah they have this weird like circular thing which i thought was just like binary and we could just set the channel whatever channel we wanted um uh, but actually as soon as you place them they just select a channel based on the surface that they're on so, I don't know. Never seen that circular thing? Yeah, it only shows it in the editor space. You have to have admin. <clears throat> Arco link has same number ID? Yeah, yeah. So these two were placed on the same surface. Uh, so they have the same ID. We can now land this on Hagen. Uh, pick a dollies it off the ship and it'll still have the same ID. That's how we're going to cheat our core frags all the way back home.
with an extremely expensive upfront cost uh, and absolutely zero maintenance cost. And practically no UPS cost compared to running spaceships back and forth. Alright, what's our ETA to get home? I'm kind of excited. Five and a half minutes still. I usually just wall off and leave it behind. Piccadilly's is easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, otherwise we'd have to, like, design a ship just for moving these. And, like, set a very specific landing spot for it, and then deconstruct the ship around the Arcosphere. Also, we'd ha I, I don't know if we'd have to leave Spaceship Floor underneath it. I suppose we could swap it out below the Arcosphere chest. But in any case, Piccadilly's is much, much easier. Science is still not moving. Why not? Because Matter 2. Matter 2 is kind of expensive, although we haven't had to think about it for a long time. What's Matter 1? It, it's catalogs. And it traces back to matter utilization, matter containment. Uh, is this matter containment? No, matter lib. Matter containment. You're wanting mag canisters. Oh. It's been a while since we were short on mag canisters. Where are we making them again? All the way up here. It's plastic? Oh. That's my fault. Um, where are we headed? Hagen. Good. Yeah, I actually did a little experiment with a smaller plastic build here. Uh, and it turns out it's not enough. Plastic. It's also been dipping in production, surprisingly. Why are we dipping in production of plastic? Are we running out of coal? Oh, maybe it actually saturated. Would, like, look at all this plastic. It begs the question of how we're not getting it upstairs. Uh, plastic? Oh! I see what happened here. Well, there's your problem. It's also causing a train jam. Uh, I think this was picked up from the block that we were emptying out. The old plastic. And this thing never leaves. It, we're only supposed to drop off complete train loads here. You know, I was toying with the idea of... not... blocking off the trains from coming in. Uh, if there's already items here. Because... The trains are all... Uh, the train that picks up from here waits until full and only keeps going to the same spot. Uh, and everything that's in these is accounted for. By LTN. Theoretically, it should be no issue if, uh... if a train picks up mixed items here. Although I kind of expected, um, I didn't ex actually expect it to be, to get mixed up this quickly. But as long as it's completely full, what should happen is it'll go up the elevator, drive over here, uh, drop stuff off, 
and the filtered uh, the filtered loaders are going to do their thing. Good job, auto mod. So many spaceships now. Must be about finished with this run. Yeah, like we we. If we won the run a while ago, but uh, we're going for a specific goal, which turned out to be a lot more ambitious than I thought. The goal is three continuous science per second, no matter what combination of science packs uh, need to be consumed. Simple as that. One hundred and eighty science per minute. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, the Arcosphere bottleneck is particularly challenging. Um, I think we're going to have to have a bunch of small... small builds with their own rebalances. What is that gear train doing? Gear train wants... The gear train wants gears. Oh, I see what happened here. It's because I messed this up earlier. And I thought it would have sorted itself out by now. No worries. Here comes another mixed train with gears. I have to have it set up like this just because short trains take from some of these. Alright, there we go. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so I guess, um, I guess it really wasn't necessary. I kind of suspected as much, but I wanted to be super safe. Uh, but it really wasn't necessary to prevent the trains from coming in. I don't want to say more than one at a time, but have more than one trainload of items here at a time. That way there'll be less of a queue as well. Alright, ETA, one minute five seconds. Wunderbar. Uh, I didn't really see where our bottlenecks were. Or the matter signs. Oh, that goes back to matter containment as well. So it's really just plastic, the mag canisters. I didn't even realize that we needed plastic... For secure canisters. Like, that's how much we've taken it for granted. I just... Does this need deep space belts? Uh, in any case, uh... Oh, that's still on tier 3 modules. Damn. Well, looks okay. Uh, but yeah... I took plastic super for granted and reduced the build a bit too much. Um, but I, I think I do want to replace this with tier nines and just see if we can see if we can get away with that for the rest of the playthrough, rather than a larger build again. We were doing plastic up here. Should probably... It's coal and... Petroleum. But how much coal is it? Two coal makes four plastic. But... 
One stack makes half a stack, putting aside productivity bonuses. No, I, I think I definitely... Oh. I think the coal planet should be our next target. We've only got the one coal outpost. It's got 168,000 coal core francs waiting to be used. And there's only one ship on the way to pick them up right now. And we're out of coal. At least from the core francs. Um, back at base. So let's maybe do Maturian next. Way down here in Regalus. We have arrived. It's time to land on Hagen. Uh, before we do... Set this to construction mode. Because I don't want to contaminate these other Robo networks. And we simply... Pick a dollies. Our uh, Arculink storage out of here. And then I'm going to send this thing back to Hagen Orbit. And now we can get to it. Alright, Arculink storage is going to be way down here in the middle-ish. Um, it's going to be approximately... No, don't do that. It's just trying to measure. Uh, here-ish? Let's see. Two, three. Three tiles up from the rail. I might just save it real quick. I'm pretty sure copy-pasting over the top of this is not going to somehow change the channel of the Arco link storage, but I would really rather not have to set it again. Welcome in, by the way, Dylan. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so, blueprint. I'm going to blueprint this, and then when I go to place it somewhere, I'm going to figure out exactly where it's supposed to be. Or not. We're going to put it in the Arco blueprint book. Alright, core frag, iridite. Oh, I wanted to add one more thing. Uh, that being repair packs. But then I can't make it symmetrical, I guess. I guess we can do it like this. Repair pack. And... Repair pack. Stack size 100. These are all 10 stacks each. Okay, cool. Wait, no, 600 is a lot more than 10 stacks. Uh, then again... No, I think I do want, like, 40 stacks each for these. 800? No, make it 600. That's what we had before. 30 stacks. Uh, 30 times 60. 1,800. That seems like a lot, though. We don't go through space train power packs all that quickly. And repair packs basically never, so... 10 stacks should be more than enough for these two. Yeah, no, that's fine. 
Gonna leave it switched off at first. Uh, what's this? This is only for destroyed. Destroyed packs. Short trains only. Provide stack threshold 50. And honestly, it's gonna be so slow. I don't think we even need the priority, but we'll just leave it there. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've got just about everything settled. So we blueprint. Let's get rid of the cheat pipe. Where is the cheat pipe? It's right there. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't like in line like I had it before. Also, that piece of pipe is unnecessary. Alright, four frag, uh, erudite, link, and this, what was the naming convention I used for this one? Arco link up, so this will be like Arco link down. link uh, inbound I guess snap to grid 86251 uh, get rid of the cheat pipe and that should be it fantastic okay Now we finally place our blueprint. Double check that that lines up, which it does. And sure enough, it doesn't somehow change the channel. Oh, and the wires are already connected. Fantastic. All right, let's grab the floor. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, I think it is. Now, this build is overdone by design. Uh, we can just trim down if we don't need so many pulverizers. How many prod modules? Uh, also, I don't need the pipes this time. Let's just wait till the floor is all in place before we do a decon. This stuff is going over here. And I was going to donate some repair packs, but to my surprise, I don't seem to be carrying them. I suppose, uh, theoretically, we never do get down to 0% chance of a meteor hitting. So it does make sense to have the repair packs. That was easy. Whoa, where did these bots come from? Where did these bots come from? That's actually a good question. I'm not clear on that. Also, why do we have these extra extra signals and we forgot these signals over here? Rude. Where's our rail? We don't have it. Okay, at least we got the floor done. Let's double check. 
No tile ghosts. We need rail, pipe, and... Well, we don't actually need pipe. Because this is not iridite, it's holmium. Holmonite. I think I have a decon planner for the pipes. Fantastic. So that just leaves rail and nothing else. A quick drive by with the construction train. And I don't think I'll worry about tier 9 modules for now. Because the sheer volume that's going to be coming through, also the sheer amount of pulverizers that we would need, or rather prod modules, if we wanted to prod 9 all of this, it's going to be a bit much. Keep those prod nines for something a little bit more precious. Like something that leads to spamming more prod nines. Okay. What's our ratio? I think it's like 50 50. Minus 80%. Plus 160. All right, so this is capable of eating 165 core frags per set. I'm pretty sure it'll be the same for Holmium. Okay. Uh, 165 core frag Holmonite per second. Plato is capable of... Until we expand it, at least. Or do more research. 110 per second. Okay, cool. So a good number of these machines are superfluous already. How many does it take to deal with 110? About... 16... So only half of them. But we will be working from a backlog because we've had it stopped all this time. So I guess it's fine. Uh, so then we just need to change these filters. Or frag... Hormonite. And there's already a controlled amount of space elevator cable, media defense ammo, space train power pack. Uh, at Plato itself. Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Professional Dave, good to see you again. Veldak, welcome in. Soulburn as well. We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Uh, we just got our first Arco Link storage working. We're going straight from our biggest uh, Holmium core fragment planet. Uh, the belt bottleneck is way faster than the production bottleneck. Uh, and we're now no longer using spaceships to go to Plato. Uh, the planet for the moment is capable of 110 Holmium core francs per second. Uh, we're able to eat 165 per second here. And we would just... Finishing up the build, as it happens. Otley Neck? Otley Neck. Uh, so I need to direct belt. Well, I don't strictly need to, but I would definitely like to. Um, we'll still send stuff to the train network, but I also would like to... How about we do it like this? Yeah, that'll do.
built things straight to the nearby rail blocks to the north and south. And that should be pretty much symmetrical-ish. Okay. Um, so we need to set up this train request over here. It's already done, I think. Oh, we don't want short trains. No, we don't want discharge power, pa uh, power packs dropping in here sometimes. Long trains only. Switch on. And go. Because I'd rather not deal with a trash station for anything that's not supposed to be in this uh, in this particular rail network. Welcome in, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Where's our train? You're delivering somewhere else. Rude. Should I rename this? I, I probably should. Right after we're absolutely sure we don't have a train coming here. I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, so this is... Uh, let's see. Cable. Ammo. Space train power pack. And... Repair pack. Uh, requester. At core frag processing. Or should I probably put a different symbol here to show that it's an outpost? Maybe elevator? Maybe core drill? How about just core drill so I don't have to... Yeah, so this will represent an outpost, I guess. Uh, and that way we don't have to change it every time. Let's use the core seam tag. Um, that'll do. Alright. Switch it on. There might be something I'm overlooking that prevents LTN from sending a train. Oh, provide a request stack threshold is only 10. So since there's no repair packs here... Oh, did I put Logibots in here? No, but they were here somehow. I don't think we need 50. I think we need like 3. But uh, we'll just leave it at 50. Okay, so... Long trains only. Request stack threshold 10. I'm pretty sure the only place they would get repair packs is the mall. This can do short trains or long trains? No, it can't. Uh, this can do short trains. Provide stack threshold is only one. Don't do iridium. Low priority. We've got 6.3k repair packs. I'm pretty sure that's more than one stack. Short trains only. Provide stack threshold one. Doesn't matter that it's an encoded network. 
ID because this one isn't. Oh, right. Long trains only. Well, that would mean that we would use this station, right? Do we have 200 stacks of repair packs? 6k, right? 6.3 thousand is 63 stacks. Oh, it's only 63 stacks, that's why. That actually kind of complicates things a little bit. Mm. Do we just spam repair packs so we've got 200 stacks just lying around? I don't want to do that. But if I allow short trains to come here, then occasionally they'll drop off... Uh, that's fine. They'll occasionally drop off discharged or destroyed space train power packs. It'll sort itself out. Yeah, no, we never had to worry about this. Okay, cool. Because we're already sending the destroyed ones away, and we're hoarding the uh, discharged ones. It's fine. Very convenient. And here it comes. Are those... No, those are... I, I thought for a second we weren't using uh, superior filter inserters here. I thought they were regular filter inserters. Okay. And, yeah, before we go, I just want to make absolutely sure that... Oh, that's already empty. I guess that's not too surprising. I guess I could get the bots to send most of this through the ArcuLink storage. I don't really see the point, though. Look how neat that is. I'm sure we don't need any of these small robo-ports anymore, though. Wait, no. Where's our repair packs? Here they are. Oh, I forgot to set the request over here. I guess a stack is fine too. Uh, but yeah, that should get sent. Nope, I broke it. This is why I wanted to test this. Blacklist, core frag. Wait, what? So there's four things we're trying to... Yeah, no, it's one too many. What? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, there were already... there were still a few left. So, yeah, the way we're working this is set filters blacklist. The problem is we only have four filter slots here. Uh... Oh, I forgot to change this. Yeah, we don't want the... Core Fragment Holmanite that we're reading from this chest to use up a slot here. There we go. So now we should be able to fit this. Without it oversupplying. There's just enough. 
in terms of filter slots here to keep this simple. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So that's the build. And that is Holmanite looking nice and saturated. Fifty-five. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. What's with this belt? I think this got copy-pasted from the north side. It did. Okay, so what's our ratio like at the moment? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Need a nuke? Okie dokie. Uh, plus 96 Holmanite per second. So that's how much the trains have to move to the other two blocks. Because at the moment this is way faster than the blocks to the north and south can consume it. Cool, cool, cool. Who knows, maybe we'll... Re I really don't want to redesign this yet again, to be honest. I think this is a pretty good build. Maybe we'll just do some more direct belting or something. Alright, in any case, uh, where's our Arco's fit? Oh, don't forget the nuke. We shall nuke. What shall we nuke? How about this oil pickup right here? Fantastic. 55, this one's for you. Oop. And that's like... Uh... Five? No. That's like 29 fewer entities on Nalvis. Alright, uh... That's where the rail was this whole time. I should have remembered. We didn't even need to bring the construction train, but at least now I've got a ride home. Uh, but yeah, let's go hook up coal core frags. Uh, using the Arco Link storage. Because it seems like we're never catching up with it at this point. And our coal core frag planet has 166,000 and change core frags just waiting to be picked up. Okay, so we've already got two ships on the way here. I'm going to switch off this outpost requesting more ships. We're going to go upstairs and make some more arcospheres. Uh, we're going to get ready to collect some more Arcospheres. Right about here. That's a big empty spot. Just need to wait for the uh, floor to be placed, so it, we can place the rest then. And then we can forget about it for five minutes before we hit the bouton. Okay, cool. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that was the decon train. Whatever. Uh, let's go upstairs. And 
go steal some more Arcospheres. We need 20 Lambdas. Someone finished off my drink. Okay, Requesta, Lambda, 20, wait for the bots to do their thing, uh, and I guess I should have left this contraption ready to go actually. It's already good to go for at least one recipe. Maybe we'll stock up. We'll take another 40. So we're prepared to make two more links. Where's our Arctostrosity? Oh. One of them's already loaded. So we have to wait for all of them to look like that. Actually, no, we don't. Do we? No. Why are you like this? the last lot are going to be out of sync. <sighs> Why? Why you got to be this way? Love the late rocket? No. The reason we synchronize it is... We don't want to end up with, uh, well, apart from because it's cool, obviously, uh, we don't want to end up with, like, the last wave having, like, this one has a space probe rocket, this one has an arcosphere collector, and Nari the two shall meet. Whoops, forgot how loud that is. So now they're all waiting for this one as well. Which is not loading. Okay, I'm just going to lower the volume for you guys. Um, yeah. I'll just have to wait for that one to catch up again. Before we hit the button. And then it should uh, keep launching all of these in sync until we're down to the last 49. And then we're going to have trouble. Alright. Uh, did we get 40 of these? We did. That's a lot of storage space, actually. I guess we'll use the train. Kill the request. Boop. And... 
Boop. Four to go. And that'll do. Alright. Back to the malt. And before you know it, we'll have two more Arco Link chests. Are we good? There we go. Stealing the lambdas? Indeed, indeed. Okay, we're finally in sync again. Now the launch begins properly. Beautiful. Imagine this launch at 60, indeed. Maybe we'll see it before the run ends. I don't think we're going to get that much UPS back by getting rid of all the spaceships, but we'll see. Thank you, Veldak. Alright. Uh, Arcospheres should already be here. No? Wait, where are the... Where are our Arcospheres? Why are you request? Mm. Why are you requesting eighty-five stacks of Naquium processor in a forty-eight stack container? Does that seem wise to you? Love it. Yeah. I hope they fix that at some point. Number one. And here comes number two. Fantastic. Alright. Once more into the breach. Uh, I'm not that low on life support. It might not be the highest priority, but I just kind of want to. We're going to get our, our one whole, what radius is it? Almost 8k. We're going to get our one coal planet to have full throughput back to Hagen. Uh, this one's definitely further away if we don't go, go via Foenestra. 35 minutes, I don't think so. Planet Orbit 1023. That's going to get programmed in once we reach our destination of Foenestra. And the round trip will be... Uh, I think once we get up to speed it's like three minutes or something for the first half to get there. Yeah. Three, three and a half minutes. Okay. What shall we do while we're in transit? Oh, cr uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I forgot to swap out the modules over here. We kind of really need the plastic. Uh, how many tier 9s did I leave behind? A single prod. A few efficiencies. That's not going to cut it. Four efficiency modules. Well, no, it was like 14 efficiency modules, one prod. Um... I guess as a stopgap, without building bigger... Okay, how about this? 
I would actually like to double check. First of all. Uh, what our rate calc is at the moment. 172 per second or 10.3k per minute. Plastic last 10 hours is like 10k. No wonder I thought this would be enough. Maybe... Hmm. I was going to say maybe the inputs for the machines are no good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember now. I already forgot. Uh, we were actually backed up for our output with plastic because it wasn't going upstairs. What? No. Why? How? How are you not putting the cryonite into the train? Oh, I know the answer. The invisible inserters are holding a different resource type. Okay, yep. Go upstairs, please. I was right to make sure we didn't mix resources like that. Good to know. Uh, so all we're doing here is denying the next train to come in until this is empty. Now you know why you wanted the link? The link. What a nice train, indeed. Yeah, see, I think there was like 10 Holmium cables being held by the invisible inserters with nowhere to go. So we're going to have to come back and check on this. Or it could just get stuck now. I guess I could set the schedule to like... Full or inactivity. I can't set a generic item count greater than zero though. We'd have to check for each different item count from this schedule. I don't want to do that. Do not want. We are about a third of a way through our journey here. Yeah, so I managed to stop plastic again. <laughs> Um, I don't know that the 10k we're producing is enough, though. What I wanted to check was, A, uh, what the rate is if we make this tier 9. Ugh. Stop. I believe it's seven efficiencies. It is. Uh, so if this is tier nine, we're looking at almost double. Wow. Yeah, no wonder I only want to make two of these. 19k per minute. That's probably all we ever need. Uh, if we want to do a little stopgap here and just pay more power... while I'm out making Arco links. That's going to be a little bit faster than the endgame build. Sure, we'll do that for now. Uh, construction train. Over here, please. When are we disassembling the haulers? Uh, when there's no more need for them. We might not ever disassemble all of them because I I'm sure they can handle all the traffic in system pretty easily. Um, in fact, we've seen it before, like Gibil being completely bereft of core frags. 
Uh, I think it's a little bit of a waste to have 20, 20 Arco spheres dedicated to transferring stuff from Achilles to Hagen. So we'll keep some of the stuff in the old dispatch system, I think. Arkale, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, where's the construction train? Alright, so I just want to put nothing but speed sixes in here for the moment. That's going to be a little bit faster. It's going to be a lot greedier, but it's going to be a bit faster at producing plastic than when we put tier nines in this later on. It's also going to cost over... Over a hundred megawatt if you count the power from the Beacon 2 itself. Good grief. That's fine for now, though. Spill the whole world in plastic? Don't remind me of microplastics. Rublet. Uh, Kilimar Baruch, or Baruch for short, I think it was. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Yo, yo. And welcome in Akeel as well, if I didn't say so. How's the Galactic Empire going? Uh, we've, we've got another big refactor project going on. There's 23 outposts in total. Several of them are in our home system, so we might not swap those ones over. Um, but we've already done our biggest Holmanite Corfrag planet. Uh, it's down to 223,000 Corfrags on the planet right now. Currently pushing, uh, well, we're not belt bottlenecked. We've got tier 6 modules here. Consuming 165 Holmanite core francs per second. Uh, Plato is capable of, uh, I believe it was about 110 core francs per second. So we're draining that out at 50 core francs per second, playing catch up. But maybe, just maybe, we now have enough Holmium throughput to simply keep everything saturated all the time. We'll see. Holmium cable production. There was a little dip seven minutes ago. 24 minutes ago. Other than that, it's been pretty solid the last hour. And that's from only transferring one, our biggest one, uh, one of our three Holmium outposts over to not using spaceships. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to... Put the name here. I don't like that as much with the, the cable wire going across it though. I guess I could always disconnect this. Yeah, I kind of like that. Well, hold on. What's the longest name for our outpost? Maturian or something? Stromhurst? 1, 2, 3, 5, 10. Ten characters. Yeah, I... Th oh, Moss Garden. That's the same. Ten characters. Okay. Moss Garden is in system though, so we don't really need the... No! I guess we could always just put it like this. If we're going to do that for some of the 
outposts. I think I'd rather put this up here. Uh, and we might experiment with putting a different color floor around it. For the look of it. But... For now, that'll do. We pick a Diliant. To setting up Arco Link end up in destruction of ship. Uh, no. Because we use Piccadillies to... Oh, that's what you meant by Piccadilly. Uh, yeah, we, we pick a dollies the uh, Arco Link off of the ship. Uh, but yeah, if not for that, we would have to deconstruct the ship around the desired end location for the Arco Link chest. In which case, I would have designed a completely different ship from this one. Um, we already stopped ships from coming to Maturian. They haven't necessarily found their way back yet, though. Uh, it looks like they have, but I think I'll distrust that just a little bit. It's, it's not that lengthy a process. We could just land the ship here as well. Or here. We can, like, pick a dollies the Arculink chest across here. Yeah, it's not that lengthy a process to deconstruct this once the actual core franks have drained out. Alright, we have arrived. Uh, wait, what are the bots doing? Okay. Let's land. And we're going to be gagging the angry koala once again. Just shove a pacifier in there. Alright. We're already carrying the Arco links. Uh, I was going to reduce the requests over here. Angry Koala now looks sad. Oh no. Yeah, it's because there's still the chests here. <laughs> we'll fix it. Damn it, now I want to make sure... There we go. Put this in exactly the same spot. Make sure that drains out. And why am I still holding this much black reinforced plate? Don't need this anymore. That's going to be a little bit awkward. Actually, we can just decon it. I forgot to get rid of... Ugh. I forgot to get rid of those storage chests earlier. That should sort itself out. Okay. Uh, so we get our blueprint. Like so. Oh, I think I forgot. Yeah. Well, that needs to be set to coal core, Frank. Oops. No, I did not. 